Hey, it's me. Today I am going to be doing a craft kit. Woo! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> I always love the idea of art and craft kits. It's a box that you buy that's got everything you need and all you have to do is bring the creativity and boom. It's wonderful in concept. I used to do a lot of these and I just kind of stopped because so many of them ended up being disappointments. Um to be honest. Either they are geared toward very young people and there's just not enough creative freedom. Step one, step two, step three, and then at the end, yay! You've got the same exact thing that every person that bought this kit has. I wanna create. On the other side, you have the kits that are directed to older people. Add custom calligraphy to your file folders. Available in black, white, gray, and off-white. Can you die of boredom? I'm sorry, but I just can't get excited about a lot of the kits that they market toward adults. I don't know why adults aren't allowed to love color. I can't appreciate neutrals. Check out my house. Not this part of it, <laughs> but the rest of my house. You know, you'll see a lot of neutrals in limited color palettes because it's calming, it's nice, but if I'm gonna be creating art. No, 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 no. Give me the color. Give me everything cute that I love. That's what art is to me. It's fun. And I know I'm not the only one like that. So why don't we have more things like this on the market? I don't know. Someone needs to create it. Why are you looking at me? I meant someone else. Anyway, I'm really hoping that you can't see the mosquito bites on my cheek. I went outside this week and I was very rudely attacked on my face. Okay. This is the kit that I have selected. This is actually geared toward adults. It's definitely not the same level of boring as a lot of the other adult kits that I've seen though. And I think we may be able to alter it just a little bit and inject a little more fun and lift of energy. I just spit all over the place. I have some ideas, okay? It's glass stone art craft kit, okay? I'm thinking that these little things you can make pins with. I love that kind of crap. These are all pins that I've made. Lots of little clutter. It's my favorite. So I'm thinking that I'm going to enjoy this. <clears throat> Learn how to create stunning artworks with the Glass Stone Art Craft Kit. From eye-catching ornaments to statement necklaces, the 10 projects in this kit will build and develop your glass stone art skills. Oh, that does not sound good. I may have dropped my camera and now whenever I turn it on, it... It makes that sound. Please, no. Let's open this box. Oh, they all fell out. So here's what we have. A book. Let. Book. Booklet. <laughs> it's a smallish book. Wow. 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 How is there so much information? I mean, honestly, it's better to have more instructions than necessary than less. So I do appreciate this. They also have this packet of decorative paper. I will say these are some pretty pretty designs, pretty, pretty designs. But also there's no rainbows, there's no ice cream. These little glass dohookies, they come in the package like little bitty cookies. It looks like I'm holding a drop of water. It's so shiny and clear. I love it. We also have huge ones. Do I look like a fish? Or do I just look stupid? Probably stupid. And then a container of craft glue. So very minimal supplies in here. Wait, Wait a, a second. second. I thought we were gonna make statement necklaces and ornaments. Why don't they include the stuff to... Hmm. This kit was very cheap. I paid $8.99, but actually they've since increased in price. I would honestly rather pay a little bit more and get everything for the project instead of getting half the stuff. There's just like not that much here. I know it's a lot easier to criticize than to actually put something together from scratch, but I think they could have done a little bit better. I guess it doesn't really matter for my purposes because I wasn't gonna make a necklace anyway. Oh, look at my statement necklace. I'm actually going to try to create custom backgrounds for mine. These are nice. I will save them, probably never use them. Let me start reading on how to glue glass onto paper. Wow. Mm. <sighs> It's weird, this isn't like referencing the kit at all. It's almost like this book wasn't made to go in the kit. Okay, so after all the nonsense, we arrive at the first project, which is the Peacock Paperweight. 
a paperweight. Does anyone actually use paperweights? Like, does anyone? It is exactly what it looks like. You take one of these, you take something pretty, you glue it on top. That's basically it. All this extra stuff is just words and common sense and ideas for things where you need additional supplies. It doesn't even give you enough to make the paperweight because you're supposed to add felt to the bottom. <laughs> we don't have felt. I mean, I could because I have felt, but you're really gonna make that assumption that every person has felt? <laughs> I don't think that's fair. What I'm basically gonna spend the rest of my time doing is kind of ignoring this kit and I'm just gonna have fun making some cool custom pins and I'm gonna design them myself. We, we are, are breaking away. away. We are going rogue. I'll let you stay, but I just want you to know that you were a little bit of a disappointment. How am I going to make the custom images for my pins? I'll be back. <sighs> I just got an iPad recently. This is the first iPad I've ever had in my life and I'm able to draw on it. And it's so much fun. I'm going to be creating the images digitally. <gasps> you. Alert, alert. We have a defective bubble. Mm. Also, these aren't called bubbles. I believe the book called them cabochons. I kind of like saying bubble better. Now. That was my phone. We have to get the size of these. The big ones, a two inch diameter, an inch and a quarter. Very small. It's doing the facial recognition. Come on, you know me. One and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. This is gonna make it much easier to draw because instead of drawing in a space this big, we get to draw in a space this big. Oh, I have to decide what I'm gonna draw. Before I get started with the drawing though, this is just a reminder, I announced this last week. My Georgie plush is available in my store, so make sure to check the link. This is a limited plush, so if you want one, there's only a week left to get him. The next time you see me, time is gonna be basically out, so don't wait. Don't forget about Georgie. All right, now I'm gonna get into the art for this. Hey, I'm here now, it's my turn. So, I started with something simple. These are all in a circular form. Format, so obviously I must start with a donut. Come on, please. I drew this donut with the frosting kind of melting off of it. I wanted maximum frosting area to work with because more frosting area means more area for sprinkles. <laughs> bag I probably should have made those sprinkles a lot thicker since this image is going to be very small very tiny sprinkles are going to be even tinier could be hard to see you done messed up a little bit dummy that's okay I forgive you there's my glossy donut design and now I'm warmed up okay I'm going in with the next one I'm getting real comfortable I wanted to do a little character so I'm drawing a bear with his head stuck in a cherry which may sound uncomfortable well it is just look at that face, you can tell. I just love drawing irritated characters. They're so cute. This, however, not cute. That probably sounds disgusting. Yes, please stop. I realize it looks kind of like an apple, but it's not, it's a cherry. And oh man, digital art, dude, ugh. It will never completely replace traditional art for me. The yumminess of real paint, I can't even think of never experiencing that. Also, I hate that I just used the word yumminess. But so many things are just so much easier with digital art. I mean, there's no mess, the layering is effortless, the undoing do button. Blending is just the easiest thing ever. And there he is, my grumpy cherry berry. This next one actually came from an idea I had in my last video. I mentioned putting butterfly wings on a cat. If you saw last week's video, you know why that didn't end up happening. But I decided to do a quick and simple design of a pastel rainbow cat with some little butterfly wings. The lower body gave me a little bit of trouble and it looks a little weird, but I think it's still kind of cute overall. For this one, uh, you can see I'm starting out with some drippiness. Ooh. And look at this. I didn't get the right shot the first time. Oh well. Do it again. Ah. Digital art. So I'm drawing a watermelon. That is right. The strawberry watermelon restriction is over. It's been like over a month since I decided to deprive myself of watermelon and strawberry themed designs since, you know, I've done them a few times before. But I think I'm back at it again now. Did I cheat a couple times during the 
the restriction maybe it was a good effort i'm always trying to figure out how to include the look of the inside and the outside of the watermelon in a creative way so here i have the watermelon kind of oozing out dripping over the outside i think it looks pretty darn cool i was supposed to be doing super simple designs for these because they are going to end up so small this one i may have gotten a little carried away but it has to be my favorite one of them all so i'm not complaining since these glass bubble things kind of reminded me of fish eyes <laughs> Moron. I decided to draw a fish. This is orange fishy with a glow up. I gave her a flower crown kind of look, but with, you know, sea stuff. And I just had so much fun with this. I am loving the colors of it. And the last one, I'm going for another little animal design. And she is wearing an actual flower crown. I went for slightly muted pastelish colors on this one. And normally I love that kind of vibe. But just a note, I think when everything was all said and done the designs that I preferred were the ones that had the more bright saturated colors they looked better under that glass so if I did this again I may have gone with some brighter colors here especially for the background okay my computer is heaving right now please be quiet Shh. why are you stressing what are you working on sorry if the light looks weird uh my ring light just spontaneously died on me I got it back on but now I'm afraid to touch it I did threaten to kill it a couple weeks ago I hate that my ring light is like always reflecting. I might kill you one of these days. So I'm wondering if this isn't retaliation for that comment. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get a new light. I've been drawing for a couple hours now. These are all really simple designs, but I had a lot of fun. They're not necessarily better than the designs that they provided in the kit. Skill-wise, they may be worse. I just like making things custom and making things my own. I've already loaded my printer with cardstock paper since they say to use the thickest paper you can. Got them. Now, we actually assemble these things. Hello. Mm, give me a kid. Oh gosh. Always the butthole. Thank you. It's not food, Opie. It's not food. It's not. All we've got to do is just take the stone, clean it off. Mmm. Oh, my bad. I just ruined this bottle. <laughs> take some glue, put it on a paintbrush, spread it on to the back of the stone, and then just place it down on top of the image. Pretty freaking simple. Really sign up for a challenge when you get an adult kit. <laughs> How long is it supposed to take? Whoopsies, I was supposed to press firmly for 30 seconds. Didn't do that. Are you done now? Moving along. Alrighty, I got all my little bubbles glued on. One quick note, if you decide to do this and you use a printer, make sure that you have a laser printer. Um, if you are using an inkjet printer, you're probably gonna wanna seal the ink with something because the glue will probably make that ink spread. The book says to use scissors. I'm thinking a better tool is a knife. I'd say that's a pretty precise cut right there. There's just nothing like the precision of an exacto. Let's keep going. They turned out nice. They're very cute. I am gonna make all of them into pins. I'm just gonna use tacky glue and that'll be fine. I actually looked online and you can get these little glass bobble things. What are they called? Capuchons. For the same price I paid for the kit, I could have gotten 60 of them. So, oops, those are mismatched. That's definitely gonna bother someone. It's on the back, you're never gonna see it. I really couldn't care less. Look, I'm gonna do it intentionally this time. You gonna cry about it? This video wasn't really about the kit. I just kind of did my own thing and had fun, and I actually really did enjoy this process. This was a fun way to make pins. I'm really happy with them. This was really a cool way to turn your digital art into something Something physical. Do I think you should go out and get this kit? I'm... You know, 
especially if you're planning on making your own art, then there's really absolutely no point in getting the kit. I mean, if you just want to use a scrapbook paper, then maybe, but even though the kit wasn't really all that great. I'll give it some credit. It did give me the idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like the little designs that I made and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>